the Africans were given the right to vote, but now they have no jobs. Jobs, a vote does not give me money in the pocket. Under apartheid, the Africans won. Segregated, but they had jobs. But now what has happened is that the new liberal system has made sure that these Africans cannot succeed in their own enterprise of black, so-called black politics giving black politicians the power, give them the power, but they don't have the machinery of economics. So the character now of imperialism is no longer necessarily in the, in the political governments. It's now in, in commerce. Actually, it has always been about commerce. It has always been economic. That's, all, that's the whole picture. All these religious movements or religious people who came into these spaces. They were just spreading the ground for markets. That's why they talk about free markets. Free the market, that's why we talk about democracy. Free the market. But the real idea of democracy is a myth. That idea that all these people talk about, whether it's Americans or whoever, it's a, it's a myth. It doesn't exist in real life. What they're looking for is somebody on the side of the free market. So that you can have space to throw in all these imports. And then you have a shilling that without, without value because you produce nothing. But we are here consuming and consuming and consuming and consuming. Where, where is that money coming from to consume without producing? Okay, this explains why a lot of people want to do work and, and not, not want to pay. You know, in the arts, we're getting the road deal. People want to listen to music, they want to see the art, they want to do all these things, but nobody wants to pay for it. So how are we supposed to survive? I'm now speaking directly about Fanon's work. Mm -hmm. Black skin, white mask. So and that's what he's saying. That's the colonial for him to feel like can fit in. Like I know the language. I speak French. You know. And even in this country, people take pride in. Oh, I speak good English. You know. A good colonial. In other words, the, the white masks. They wear the white masks. You know, the nice white masks that you feel like okay for me to feel it, to fit in. And, and it's the same even in the art field. The people who are coming in and, and saying, oh, there's no art here. There's no this there. What they're actually telling us, you guys are too African, you're too localized, you need to become more universal. You negotiate, everything is about negotiation in a space like ours, where we are having to redefine, um, move, move away from the, the idea of, of, of um, okay, global capital, colonialism and all that stuff and trying to push back. People are trying to push back and say, no, wait a minute, something's wrong. Something's wrong if all Africans want to escape and run to Europe.